If you're a trailer owner and you spend more than about a nanosecond in campgrounds without hookups, then chances are you're either a generator owner or soon will be. And even if you do already own a generator, like me, you're probably always on the lookout for your next one. Here's the thing though, in the universe of portable generators, there are dozens and dozens to choose from and not a lot sets most of them apart from each other. Here's one we think kind of stands out from the crowd. The Champion 3100, 3400 watt dual fuel inverter generator is, you guessed it, out of the box, ready to run on either gasoline or propane. Let's take a closer look. This unit is rated at 3,100 running watts with a peak capacity of 3,400 watts. It's RV ready with a 30 amp outlet. It's California compliant as well as EPA certified for all 50 states. With nicely integrated carrying handles and a pull handle and built-in wheels, this Champion is relatively portable despite its weighing in at nearly 100 pounds. And this is pretty cool. In addition to the recoil pull for starting, this rig has an electric start feature. The small lead acid battery that powers the electric start is part of what makes this unit heavier than some in its class, but seriously, it's super convenient. Before we get too far into it, you may be asking why a dual fuel generator? Well, there's a couple of answers to that. The simplest, of course, is the flexibility to burn whichever fuel is handy. For RVers, propane is just about always at the ready. But then there's that whole energy formula thing. You'll get about four and a half hours of runtime on a gallon of gas, but only about three hours on a gallon of propane. On a dedicated five gallon propane bottle, you'll get like 14 and a half hours of runtime without refueling though, but only a little over seven hours of straight runtime on the 1.6 gallon gasoline tank. So with gas, you may have the gas can storage issue to deal with. Also, gasoline is less stable than propane. So if you're not using the generator very often, propane may make sense. Environmental issues of concern, again, nice to have the propane option as it does burn cleaner than gasoline. Simply put, the answer for you may be different on different days. And the thing about the Champion dual fuel model is, you don't have to decide. The moderate additional cost of the dual fuel model may well be worth the flexibility it buys you. The 3100, 3400 watt model sells for 1099. There's also a very similar 3150, 3500 watt model available only at Camping World that sells for $1299.99. And another big generator decision is size. Yes, it does matter. Lots of folks, maybe most, opt for generators more in the 2000 watt genre. They are relatively light and typically manageable by one person. Of course, they are also less expensive, checking in at roughly half the price of a 3000 class generator. But the 3000 watt and above generator will not only power the RV microwave and the hair dryers, a 3000 watt generator, this Champion 3100, 3400 model included, will also power your RV's air conditioner. Not so with the 2000s, and that may be a big factor for your RV lifestyle. The 3000 class generators are heavier and bulkier, but some would argue that to be more of a feature if you camp in places where theft could be a concern. There's just not that many people who could walk off with, let alone run off with, 100 pounds under their arm. So choices aside, let's put the Champion through some paces. Out of the box, the quick start guide was straightforward and well written and had us up and running in about 45 minutes or so, including adding oil and getting the battery connected, a fairly tedious but one time only process. As mentioned, the electric start is really convenient, but even the recoil cord takes no more than a typical lawnmower pole to get it started. One of the big concerns with RV generators is noise. None of us wants to be that guy, am I right? But the Champion checks that box nicely, coming in right at the 60 decibels at 50 foot National Park Service standard. By my comparison test with the iPhone decibel meter, the uh, Champion comes in just a decibel or two above the Honda 2000, arguably the gold standard of campground quiet generators. Switching between gas and propane fuel sources is literally as easily done as said. Attach the included quick connect hose and regulator. Turn on the propane and fire it up. Really, it's that simple. I don't think you have to be an RV tech to know a good generator when you see one. After putting the Champion through some paces, we found it to be easy to start and easy to use. 
We particularly like the electric start feature. We like the idea of being able to run on cleaner propane fuel or not, our choice. Uh, personally, I kind of like the idea of it being a little theft resistant, the heavier, bulkier unit. All told, I'm a fan. I'll be proud to show off the Champion 3100, 3400 to passers-by in many campgrounds to come.